known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point along the way, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car, or over a meal, or during long walks, all those sentences began with when we're married. Those late night talks that included someday and somehow, and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. Gazing at the blue of the night Stars are filling up the sky You take my hand in yours We'll make our own constellations uh, I have had the pleasure of knowing Charles for almost 20 years now. <laughs> it's a simple act you make as a kid, you know? You see some dude sitting next to you on the bus 101. Decide like, hey, maybe we should be friends. We can throw the football together and stuff. Last thing on my mind was that he'd be my best friend for my entire life. Didn't know what we were looking for till we found it. They could say they've seen the highest mountain. In case you were confused about the height difference, I am Maddie's older sister. <laughs> and today, she teaches me yet another valuable lesson. She's showing me how to find a best friend, a partner in life, and a soulmate all in one person. I can't wait to see what life has in store for the two of you, and I'll be there whenever you need me. To Maddie and Charles. To Charles and Madison. Oh, uh, anyone.